This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world with your host, Catherine Donnelly. Hi, and thank you for joining us on Stock Day. I'm Catherine Donnelly, your host, and today I have with me from Cordova Minerals Corp, the president and CEO, Mario Stefano. Mario, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. So we recently had the Uppy Awards in Las Vegas, Nevada, and you were presented with an award. And that was for the most promising minerals and mining organization. So we actually have the Uppy Award right oh, here. Perfect. Wanted to thank officially you. present it to oh, you. Thank you. I think this is a great <laughs> achievement for Cordova. I mean, we had a great year in 2017, and we think 2018 will be even better. Absolutely. So let's talk about that year for you. So again, this is Cordoba Minerals Corp. They trade on the OTCQX as ticker symbol CDBMF, and also on the Toronto Stock Exchange as CDB. So let's get started with the questions. You had a great year for Cordoba, obviously. Allowed yep. you guys to win an up award. Exactly. Thank so you. what potential do you see with the Alcoran? Copper gold deposit. Have you encountered any interesting mineralization outside the current resource input? Well, great question, uh, Catherine. So, Alacran right now is our flagship project. It's in the northern part of Colombia, mm -hmm. and it's a new discovery. A lot of people, when they explored in Colombia, focused in the middle part of Colombia. And we discovered our Alacran deposit and what we call the San Mateus project in 2011. And from there, we, we've been drilling the Alacran project, which is a copper gold mineralized system. We're not exactly sure you know, what, the, what form the Alacran deposit. It's very complex. And in our experience, when you get these complex deposits, they're usually your biggest style deposits. So with Alacran, we have currently a 54 million ton resource of 0.7% copper and 0.37 grams gold, which is really high grade because this is an open pitable style deposit. And the mineralization starts right from surface. It's, it's, it's an ideal topography for open pit mining. Uh, but we've been drilling it since that resource. Uh, that resource included 22 holes drilled by Cordoba. And since then, we drilled almost another 55 holes. So we're confident that we'll be able to build on that resource, which we expect to come out in the first half, first quarter of 2018. Uh, but more importantly, with our last drill results, uh, we've been able to expand the southern part of Alacran, hole 66, mm -hmm. And some great mineralization in the south. Uh, we've been able to prove that up with some additional holes in our last news release. Um, and to the northwest of Alacran, we hit uh, hole 70, which had some, again, high-grade copper gold mineralization. But what was intriguing about that hole, not only that it's open to the northwest and open down dip, we also hit cobalt, which was really high-grade cobalt. It was about 1%, just over 1% cobalt. And it's a new style of mineralization. So again, reinforcing to us that Alacran is is a deposit that continues to surprise us and we're pretty confident here that when it's all said and done Alacran will be a very economic and very profitable deposit for for us when we get this thing into production and that's our ultimate goal at Alacran. Okay and the great thing about this site is that you guys actually have 100% ownership of it, is that correct? That is correct. Uh, recently in 2017 we, we reconsolidated the project back into Cordoba we had a great uh, eight, uh, joint venture partner in high power exploration, HPX, which is a, a company uh, led by Robert Freeland. For those of you who don't know who Robert Freeland is, he's considered probably the, uh, the preeminent mining entrepreneur of our generation. Uh, he's a billionaire and has discovered some of the biggest uh, discoveries in the world, whether it's in Mongolia, uh, Newfoundland with, with uh, Boise's Bay, in Africa. He's got some fantastic deposits there. So he seems to have his thumb on finding great deposits, and we got Robert Freeland involved in Cordoba back in 2015. I met him in the elevator and told him why we thought we had one of the best copper gold projects, and he believed uh, and saw what we saw and, and invested in Cordoba as our joint venture partner, but we decided to reconsolidate the project into Cordoba and have High Power Exploration become our largest single shareholder. So High Power Exploration and Robert Freeland now own about 67% of Cordoba. So we've got a great Backer and Robert Freeland and, and all his expertise and his team and and we got a great team at Cordoba as well so we leverage mm -hmm. each other's skill sets and we think we got a great team now to move this project forward to uh, development and it's just the beginning. Okay, so what are you projecting for 2018 to be the biggest milestones? 
Yeah, great, great question. So in the first quarter, we, we anticipate a new resource update, which I think will be a key catalyst because we'll be able to show the market that the deposit is continuing to grow. It's mm -hmm. good grades, uh, which really lead a, lead someone to, to realize that, investors to realize that we have potentially an economic deposit, which is what we're all looking for. Um, in addition to that, in the first half of 2018, we will be coming up with a preliminary economic assessment. So we're actually going to put numbers to the deposit to show the market that this, we think, will be an economic deposit worthy of development. And that's going to be a key catalyst for us focused on Alacran. However, Alacran is just one deposit within our 200,000 hectares of ground. I mean, we've got a massive land package in northern Colombia. Nobody realized there was copper gold here. And when you're looking to invest in mining companies, you know, real estate, just like uh, when you're buying condos or houses, Real estate is extremely important on location. Mm -hmm. So, you know, always try and find, you know, waterfront properties. They always go up to highest in value. And we think we picked up waterfront property in the mining sector in Northern Columbia because nobody explored for copper, gold, or any minerals here since mm -hmm. the early 80s. I mean, one of the world's largest uh, nickel mines is in production here called uh, Cerro Matoso, which has been operating for over 30 years. They got another 30 years of reserves. But after that discovery, people forgot about it and stopped looking. And, you know, so, so we think the best place to find deposits is where there's existing deposits. And we have Sermatoso, now we have Alacran, and we've locked up this whole district. So the other part of 2018 will be focused on identifying these additional targets, and we have numerous targets. And we anticipate as the year progresses, we'll start drilling some of these, these additional targets. So we see a lot of blue sky potential at Alacran and San Mateus, in addition to what we've discovered so far. A great example of that is two kilometers to the north and about a kilometer to the east of uh, Alacran are two porphyry discoveries, two outcrops that we've been drilling. We think there's a lot more potential in this district for porphyries. Uh, it just takes a lot of time and effort, uh, as it does in exploration, to find these. Mm -hmm. But we, we're in the right geological setting to find tier one world-class assets, and that's what we're really striving for here. Is there anything else, Mario, that you can tell us that maybe our investors and our listeners might want to hear about Cordobia? Yeah, so, um, you know, as I mentioned, Alacran is, is sort of our flagship asset. But, you know, when we set up Cordoba, our intention was always to try and create a company that could put an asset into development. Mm -hmm. So one of the key aspects for putting an asset into development is making sure you got a great asset, which we think we have at Alacran. In addition to that, you have to have strong social and community relations because you cannot put an asset into production without the support of the local communities. And one thing Cordoba has been extremely good at is getting social um, support for the asset. So Cordoba twice has now won the Silver Award for social environmental work in the area. And we, we beat out some of the largest mining companies in the world that are in Colombia. So that, that's a great achievement for a smaller company like ourselves because it gives recognition in the country that we're doing the right things to get community support. So in our area, uh, we do have some artisanal miners, very, very few, because that's that's the reality in the world today. But uh, the nature of our deposit is such that it's open pit style grades. So these artisanal miners will always make more money when we're able to hire them than they would if you try to mine the deposit themselves. And anytime we have work for them, we are able to engage the community, Anytime we needed permitting, we've been able to get community support uh, and government support for permitting. So we're, we're of the view that um, because we're in flatland, mm -hmm. we're in an area in northern Colombia that's not very heavily populated. It, you know, part, part of the Mecaca Belt in, in Colombia where you've had some issues with permitting, you've had some very large communities that are impacted by some large open pit mines and they haven't been extremely supportive. And it's not a Colombia issue, this is a worldwide issue. Uh, you have to have community support and you got to do it the right way. So I think at Cordoba, you know, our focus first on getting social support for our project is going to be extremely valuable for us when we're ready to put this into development. And, and we're constantly talking to the community. They want us to put this ass into development because they recognize the value that mines in the area have brought to the communities. As I mentioned, 20 kilometers away from us is Ceramatoso, the world's third largest nickel mine. 10 kilometers away from us are two open pit coal mines. So the community in our area really likes mining because they see the wealth and the benefits it brings to the local community. So that's that's a key aspect when you're looking to invest. You could have the best asset in the world, but if you never can put in development, well then I'm not sure you're ever going to create significant value for your shareholders. In our case, we think we have a great asset in Alacran, but we also think we can put into development. 
We have the ability to raise financing because we've got one of the best supporters uh, in Robert Freeland HPX. I would say so. Um, so. So we're pretty confident that you know when the time is right, Alacran will be a project that everyone will look for. And then, as I mentioned again, you know I, I don't I don't want people to forget that Alacran is just one deposit, and it's about over 500 hectares of ground, and we got 200,000 hectares of ground to explore, and we've got numerous showings all over this area. And our view is it's not going to be just one Alacran, hopefully not two or three Alacrans. We think we're going to find numerous deposits in this area. It just takes time and money. So. You know, when you're looking to invest in a mining company, you want a company that's got a great asset, but also has significant upside. And we think we'll be able to deliver that to our shareholders in 2018 and, and onwards. Wonderful. All right, well, once again, I'm joined by President and CEO of Cordova Minerals Corp., Mario Stefano. Thank you very much, Mario, for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Catherine, for having me. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent, and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or this station.